Well, welcome, welcome everybody. Mane here. A little bit of a heads up right now. Recovering from a little bit of a head cold. So uh, there's that. But anyway, Dawn of Man, getting to it. The workload is too high. See, that's what happens. I get back and then I'm overworking my folks. But anyway, again, another but anyway. Uh, we left, I think, springtime. We just got, let me throw down a quick little F7 here to see uh, our Neolithic research. We just barely got in here with uh, cereal domestication, which still doesn't mean we can plant it. Uh, no, 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 wrong. This lets us actually plant it, uh, but we're beyond, um, uh, so we're in fall now. Anyway, it's getting a little crazy. Not th There's so much to harvest that the workload's high, and remember, uh, I did plant. Nope, that's not planting. I'm all over the place. Here's planting. Remember, we only planted little squares like three by threes and uh, the nice thing is it's going to get us a bunch of hay and different types of uh or grain and it's going to get a straw i keep calling if i call things hay i mean straw uh and that's what these haystacks are for uh, the haystacks are for the straw not for hay they're not straw stacks I'm, i mean ugh. you you Go to bed. Main point is, we've got straw on the way. I'm excited to be getting a few more. I need one more uh, research point, and we're going to get thatching, which means upgrades on the way. So that's going to be the big feature of the episode today. I really didn't know what it was going to be. Who are you? Are you a trader, or are you, like, bringing me a bunch of stone from somewhere pointless? But it looks like we're doing okay. I mean, getting a little low on flint... Ooh, there's megaliths. We can't do those yet, but I'm really excited to get to the point of building, like, big stone structures, kind of stonehenge stuff. Lots of cool things going on with that. Oh, it's so nice to have a voice again. That's, that's another thing. Uh, you just don't realize how nice it is to feel healthy until you're really uh, down and under. Resources acquired. So, okay, just by gathering more resources, we're going to be getting more knowledge points. Very interesting style. I mean, I'm really digging the game, but uh, it is interesting, the whole you got to just do a lot of stuff. Like, and not, you know, you can't do just one thing and keep leveling up. You got to really do a little bit of everything to advance. Which I guess, in a weird flip way is more realistic, right? You gotta do a little bit of everything before you can really move forward in ages and knowledge. Uh, you gotta hunt quite a bit of, you know, a lower level animal to start gaining the skills to be able to go hunting, which I need to always be checking on. We got a lot of mammoths over there. And I could just check on by adding... Ooh. Sounds pretty rough, but I think I'm going to add another work hunting zone over here. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to actually say two folks can work on that. Because, you know, it's not like I have a huge workload going. But what happened was, fall time, when the crops are done, it's just like everyone's got jobs now. Um, everyone's performing tasks. I do like this ability, like number six is activity, and then you're going, well, unproductive, what's everyone doing with number seven, which is all my tasks. Lot pending, that's all right. Then number eight's like, where's our knowledge progress? So basically everything with the early ages, we've maxed out as far as building structures. So we really need to be able to build new things, and then we'll start getting knowledge. So we're kind of at a weird stuck point. Uh, we, if we had a boar, we're gonna just go hunting. So, let's speed things up. I don't do that too often. Uh, that's not how you speed it up. You press the number two key. Number three key. I want to see these fields get plowed. Plowed by hand. Yeah, you whack it with that stick. New, oh... New humans? New humans have joined. We have more settlers. Oh, and then our uh, berries decayed. 
nasty old berries get those out of here they helped us through now we gotta survive on all the meat 78 cured meat oh my goodness uh the traders here <clears throat> excuse me there's that head cold catching up again uh oh no you all right what you got buddy what you got you have ooh 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 like planet base i don't know if you guys remember i think they have a good bundle going on for planet base and dawn of man by the way um you could trade for uh research as well instead of actually researching it so we could get underground mining for 200 uh do 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 and wool cloth man we got a lot of hay and we got a huge amount of meat but still like look at that we're only getting one per hmm and it's about to be winter so i don't want to go too crazy selling all that uh, everything's a value of one here i mean wood come on now we could sell some of that uh, but I should figure out what I'm going to actually trade for. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that and I'll give them an extra... Ooh, the skins outfits are actually good money. Ooh, you know what? I have skins outfits, but I'm realizing I don't have the... Uh... Oh, maybe it's because everyone's wearing them, but i got to make some outfits. 1818, okay. Uh, I'm short on... Stop making skins outfits. Leather outfit? Is everyone wearing their leather? Is that what's going on? Yes, it is. Warmth and style. I like it. What's up with this one? It's got the warmth, but it ain't got no style. No, it's got a little bit of style. Hey, there we go. Raw meat. 250 knowledge plus one. F7. Thatching is happening, folks. Thatching is happening. Now, who gets the first upgrade? Uh, you do with that voodoo that uh, I do with the upgrade to hut. Oh, I clicked it and didn't read it. So let's look at this one. This one's going to say a hut with a thatched roof for one log, four sticks, two thatch, and four mud. Mud. Uh, so on the mud, we can do extraction of the mud. I'm going to do, these I'm going to double up. I'm going to have that one doubled up and I'm going to have this one doubled up. So one worker can work both of these and, uh, probably keep it from going out. We'll see how that goes. Mud's kind of interesting. Let's see if we can see anyone doing the task of getting mud and then we'll watch it oh uh, we can also do an upgrade on wow eight mud the storage hut so i'm excited like you don't have to overly expand out i wonder how that would go i think would they all attack me uh you know what we need to get some kills here though You know, we don't need to keep expanding out with, like, lots of huts to keep expanding our population. Because we're going to go better. And uh, they're going to be able to hold more people and storage. I still kind of like the idea that the huts just have storage. And it's not... It doesn't seem to be specific. It'd be nice if... I don't know. It does seem like they're prioritizing food now. Which makes sense. Thatching unlocked. Loving it. Unlocked thatch structures, which in general are more durable and advanced than skins structures. Nothing like living under a thing full of skins. So it's going to be nice. Uh, let's see if we do have someone working on the mud yet. Oh, there's a mud. Extract mud. Pending task. Everyone's still really busy, huh? Yeah, look at that. We still have a lot to haul and such. I do have a lot going on. And our population had dropped to 25. Which was too bad. Oh, ancient bison attack. Here we go. Now, if someone does get hurt, they have a chance of getting an infection. And if they get an infection, 
Yeah, they're dead. It's just how it is. Go ahead and just work this, guys. I know you're hungry. But, uh, you know, it's good times. Let's see how we're doing on bison. Ancient bison. If we hunt one more, that's research points, which we still need quite a lot on. But I'll, I'll take it. Because I'm sure what's going to happen is instead of slicing and dicing here, what is this guy? Oh, here's an ancient bison. Let's go after this one. Uh, someone's going to go get a sledge. A little sled thing and uh, come get all the goods at once. Oh, man, this is great. Hunt it in towards the town. Come on, I should do that more often. I definitely earned a knowledge point for that. But what I didn't catch... Oops. Is... Is there anything else new we can build? Maybe I missed some stuff. No, nothing spiritual yet. Uh, storage. Storage hut. So actually, I wonder... Oh, granary. A structure to preserve food. We definitely don't have one of those yet. Look at that. So let's go get this guy built up more by the... Uh, where the bread's going to be. Facing this way. I like that. We still can't plant anything of food type. Like, what are those? Pulse? I guess beans or something? Flax for, uh... Probably... Like, clothes and such. For materials. And then, uh, fruit trees. Nice. We can get some orchards going. Find a little inner, uh... Johnny Appleseed. Alright, here we go here. Let's see if we can go find someone. Are you going to get mud? Are you going to get mud? Oh, look. Basically, they walk up. It looks like they're getting water, but they bring back a bowl of mud. Reindeer has escaped. Run, run, Rudolph. Uh, that didn't work out well. Oh, ancient bison. Right, it's a young male. We'll let him live today. Actually, that reindeer must have walked through my hunting zone, so that was on him. That was on him. All right, so we're going to speed things up, press a little number two, because I want to show off... How are we doing on storage? Ooh, what is that? I have a wool outfit, A. Eh? Oh, we can set to high priority. That's good to note. I'm going to keep building our skins outfits, too, because it is turning into winter. I don't know what I was thinking. Don't do what I do. Do what I don't do. Mm, lots of meat on the rack. Food dryers on. They're ready. What up, dog? Old female, huh? Mm, you live today. I don't really see a negative side of um, slaughtering the old... Uh, animals, I mean, it's, it's sad, you don't want to, you know, but you get some skins, you get some meats, and, uh, it is the Stone Age. Well, you know, you know what I mean. The Neolithic Age and the Stone Age. Uh, two tech points, what should we do next? That's what I'm gonna hopefully, uh, ask in the comments of this a time. We could get goat domestication, we could get weaving, ooh, uh, the Hugo style. We've got, uh, stilting. We've got the megalithism. I'd love to do some of this, even though I know it's not so much, but spirituality? Making the folks happy? We just gotta be aware of, uh, you know, it's not just worrying about this and the animals. There could be some raiding. There could be some things happening, so I just gotta make sure we're still focused on the end game, which is, uh, survival all around so I just want to make sure look we are getting better we were making a bunch of leather outfits which does uh, mean that this has to be turned on where is leather raw skins dry skins let's turn this on for a little bit I will probably forget but we do need some more leather 
Oh, look at this. We're going to get the first... First hut is getting built right now. Looks like it's got all the mud. It's got all the skins, all the sticks. Look at that. Plastering that up. Nice. We acquired 10 mud. That's a knowledge point. Oh, that's right. These huts are going to give us knowledge points. We've got... Slowing it back down just a little bit. We've got the granary getting built. They're unhappy about it. It's a, it's a it's an unhappy granary, but it's gonna be good because all the bread and the flour. Oh, that's right. It actually gets cooked here. Hmm. New plan. Let's build. Nope, not a residence. Let's build a production. Uh. No. Let's build production. Um, that right there. Cool. I'll let them still bake some stuff over here. Actually, no. Actually, yes. Why not? Are we baking here? We're baking there. Baking the bread from the flour. I got you covered, folks. I got you covered. Raider attacks. Here we go. First time we've had a raider attack, everybody. Uh, what are we going to do? Alert everyone with a weapon. We'll assume combat rolls, and we'll get inside a building. Let's do that. What? Oh, my goodness. We are preparing for the raider attack. You guys don't know the pain and suffering you're about to feel. The screen is red and Monty is ready to fight. On three, two, one. Uh, no, guys, come over here, actually. Then our dogs will get involved. Um, you guys, you guys gonna do something? Here we go. And the fight is on. Times one, bring him down with the bows. Raiders are getting just owned. Pwned, if you will. The dogs are going at it, and we are alive. No alert. You guys rock. They're excited. They're happy. They're cheering. You guys did awesome today. We had no casualties. And, uh... Monty won. Raiders, zero. All right. Can we, uh... Can we like steal their tools? Come on now, we don't we don't get nothing? We get a uh, Is that a thing here? Yes, it is. Raiders killed 4 of 5 would have one more. Come on now. You guys really didn't have one more guy. They only attacked with four people. I want to say weak sauce, but I don't want to really uh egg them on too much cuz Yeah, but anyway guys, look at this. Look at this beautiful hut. Another cool thing about the hut is it can provide, uh, look, raw food can be cooked and eaten in the hut. Uh, it's got a defense. Resources will last two times longer when stored in the structure. Didn't realize that. See, it's good to read. It's got a prestige of two, and the structure can house four people. So as prestige goes up... Uh, will affect immigration and trader arrival, but I, I'm wondering if that's going to have a little effect on raiders coming after us as well. A human was born. Nicely done, nicely done. Uh, so, now let's compare a regular store... No, not a storage tent, Monty. How about a hut? See, that's got only a prestige of one, can hold three people, and resources last 1.5 times. No cooking of goods in the hut, so... Uh, or in the tent. The hut, yes. Anyway, that's all pretty cool. I'm excited about all of that. I think we need nothing. We're doing good on everything. The snow is falling. Uh, I would say it's time to s upgrade our original storage tent. I think we have enough room. I might even dismantle uh, a storage tent completely. Probably this one. Thoughts? Thoughts and thoughts and all that. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think there. But, 
we have more techs, so I am going to have to throw one down on my own. I'm going to go with... Ooh. Fortifications. I don't think we need to do that yet. I'm going to do underground mining. And then you guys still have some lots of options to vote on. Underground mining, I think, is going to be really helpful for mining of the underground. No, let's... let's look at this. See, so we can put it on top of that flint thing right there. And isn't that cool? Isn't that nice? Uh, I don't think there's one closer, unfortunately. Or is there? Uh, I think the answer is no, though. I wish there was an easier way. Is this it? Yes, it is. If I hit that tab key, uh, I can see the colors of the rocks and the stuff. So flint looks like... Let's go to known flint location. Flint looks like that. Okay, blue. Uh, so there's one not there. Um, not there, not there. It's good to know, because I would have I would have been looking around a lot more. That's, that's very similar, so that's a little throwing. See, so there's going to be one oh, there. That's pretty far. And then, uh, oh, is that? No. Oh, 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 there we go. Loving it. Hiding right in front of us. So we're going to build a nice flint mine right along the water. Nice. I can just go out, get a little drinky drink. I can dig it. Look at that. little bit of uh, variation in the hut. Uh, thatchery color on the top. I'm liking that. One extra spot for both storage and uh, people's. So now our capacity went to 35, so we got to be careful with this. Uh, but at the same time, I'm excited about all the upgrades. Look at our little, we got a little baby haystack, a little mama haystack, a little papa haystack. With a big totem of skulls and bones in between. So how can we tell there? That means one's full, and then that's like it's, it's going down a little bit. Interesting. Ah, nice. All the food and stuff's getting put up in the granary. You know, I think I will build another one of those down by the river in a van right here. Now, I'm going to turn it. Oh, we're going to turn it. Look at that. They brought the sled out. I know it's a sledge. To get everything all built up. All nice. This guy's like, nope. I'm bringing the log on my own. And by this guy, I mean Emin. The woman. The iron woman. She brings her own logs. Whereas uh, Cag. Oh, Cag, I remember you. Bringing all the logs with the sledge. We get it. You're an old woman. Not playing around, though. You're bringing three. So, uh... She's showing the... The wisdom of age. It's not always just the brute strength. There we go. We're going to get a flint mine going. I'm pretty excited about that because flint has been on the edge. Okay, we've got a nice tree chopping area. The I do like that. The micromanagement goes away with the work areas. It feels like the game could be very micromanaging. But then it's not, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah. I'm like, what did I upgrade? Research. But the flint mine, what we were talking about. But what I'm excited about is we got quite a bit done today. I was wanting to at least get the thatching done. Show you how uh, that goes. So we got, which was, uh, you needed the straw. We needed mud, which we got both. Uh, we have survived fall and winter this episode, which I like. All our bread is decaying, which is unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. We're going to go get some berries. We're going to be fine. Uh, we got our flint mines going. Underground mining was the bonus this episode. But uh, I'm going to leave you on that note until next time to see how we do. Uh, so granaries are, were here as well, so nice things on the storage front. And uh, I'll probably get some upgrades going, maybe play through a season or two, uh, because we need the techs. 
Uh, I, I won't upgrade any tech until next episode. There's our deal, right? I gotta make some promises. Or then I've got nothing to break, because that's usually what accidentally happens on these things. But anyway, I'm glad to be back. I need to uh, whew, go take a rest, and uh, I will catch you guys next time. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy uh, what you saw today. And let me know how you guys are enjoying Dawn of Man. And remember, share your screenshots. You can follow me on Twitter at Monty Games or uh, drop by the Monty's Gaming Community on Facebook. If you guys don't know about any of that stuff, just check out the, uh, the About section. And we'd love to see you guys join us next time as that beautiful thatch storage shed uh, gets completed here. We'll, we'll let... We'll finish it out on this note. We'll go full speed. Game pace 8. And finish out on the note of storage huts being completed. Ah, there we have it, folks. Beautiful times ahead. And I look forward to uh, enjoying them together. So have a nice day. Take care, everybody. <laughs>